I have a article right here and it goes through all of the like NFL today, like the NFL networks crew and they picked what team do you think deserves to win an NFL championship the most? So we'll go through this list kind of analyze some of the takes here and then give our takes on who we think most deserves to win an NFL championship. So let's dive right into it. And then we have Jeffrey Chadhia. And he picked the Detroit Lions. Um, We can definitely both agree with that. We saw even before Hard Knocks, we were huge Dan Campbell fans when everyone was ridiculing this man, saying he was goofy and a little bit cartoonish. Cowherd taking his lowbrow backwards hat jabs at him like he normally does at guys. I was like, no, Dan Campbell is the man. I think he's actually a really good coach and he's going to succeed for this team. And Lions, huge step forward last year. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, outside of, you know, Dan Campbell, the Jared Goff lore being traded from the Rams after bringing them to a Super Bowl. Um, outside of that, you've won one playoff game in your entire history. You've suffered. You were the first team in NFL history to go winless in a season. Like, this is a team that has suffered. Two of your greatest players in your history have retired at 30. Barry Sanders and Calvin Johnson, two of the greatest players at their position, arguably. And not only that, you guys haven't won a title since 1957 before Super Bowls even existed. You want to talk about a franchise that has suffered more than any team, arguably in professional sports, the Detroit Lions. Absolutely. A hundred percent. They should be number one on this list. Yeah, of course they should be number one. Um, A team that shouldn't be on this list. And I, David Carr, what are you doing here? He picked the Dallas Cowboys. Why the hell are the Dallas Cowboys in need of another Super Bowl? You had your glory in the eighties and nineties. Uh, and you have continued consistent success. You're getting to the playoffs each year. It's not like you're a poverty franchise like the Lions have been. You haven't been as bad to the same level. I don't know if everyone had to pick a different team. If not, you should have picked the Texans at least if no one else picked them yet on this list. But to say the Dallas Cowboys, Mike McCarthy already won a championship. Jerry Jones, it's not like he's an owner that's never won a championship here. Their fans are the most annoying fans in the NFL, um, I think everyone agrees that Cowboys fans are the most delusional fans. So you think winning a Super Bowl is going to be a good thing for Dallas? Like, no, they need a few more decades of suffering and then they can come back to a championship. But deserve it the most in the NFL right now when teams haven't won it before? No, and I could <laughs> I don't know if they're on this list yet, so I won't shut them out yet. But like, I can think of at least five teams that are just in title contention that deserve it more than the Cowboys. Cowboys, give them credit. They've been pretty smart front office wise, except for, you know, hiring Mike McCarthy. Uh, I think they could have had a better hiring here, but like, like I think of the cataclysmic reaction that would happen if the Cowboys actually won the Super Bowl. Dak Prescott becomes a hall of famer. Arguably you have Tony, you know, all these different things, Mike McCarthy, an all time great coach nonsense. Like, all yeah. these things that would happen if the Cowboys won. The, like, it's literally end of times if the Cowboys win. So absolutely, 100%, 100% no. Yeah, and Troy Aikman and Joe Buck would probably be calling it, which would be, be awful. And then Tony Romo would probably be calling it. If the Cowboys face the Bills, I have no idea how Tony Romo would be able to cope with that. His favorite quarterback in the league in Josh Allen, his favorite team in the league in the Buffalo Bills besides the Cowboys, and they're basically the Bills of the East. So, yeah, Cowboys there. No idea why they're on their list. Team that I can understand why they're on the list. Um, this is Judy Batista. I think she's the daughter of Dave Batista. Um, pick the New York Jets. Yeah, I see it. Kind of similar to the Lions. They have suffered since Joe Namath has walked out of that building. Uh, they've continued to have horrible quarterbacks. They've had really, really terrible drafts historically. And even the last decade, you've had the Geno Smith before Seattle's. You've had the Christian Hackenbergs and the Mark Sanchez's butt fumble. You've been a complete poverty franchise. This would be great for Gary V as well. He can get his ring that he's been wanting for. So I get it. They get Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers wins a second ring. He rides off into the sunset. I see the vision. I, I accept it. Yeah, I like the vision here because this is a team that has gone out there, put the work in, gone out there, got Aaron Rodgers, hired Robert Sala, who's a defensive coach in an offensive coach's world. 
um, just a defensive coach there. Um, and he really instilled a tough mindset in this team and was able to go out there, beat the Bills with someone as bad as Zach Wilson starting. You went out there, got Zach Wilson. The fact that you're moving off of him this soon is another reason why the Jets deserve to win a Super Bowl because you're recognizing earlier now when your quarterbacks are bus. Um, so I think that's a good thing. And then you did go out there, build a good defense. Have they won a Super Bowl before? They won one with Joe Namath. It was Super Bowl three. Yeah, and then Aaron Rodgers getting his second Super Bowl puts him right up there. I think it puts him right there with Peyton Manning, maybe a little yeah. bit above. Definitely more talented than Manning. More efficient, too. But yeah, I agree with the Jets one, so shout out Judy Batista. Um, then Mark Ross picks the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah, they deserve it again. Another franchise historically, pretty middle of the road. They go out and get Joe Burrow. They made the Super Bowl against the Rams. A lot of plays that went bang, bang, that could have gone into a, a Bengals Super Bowl. I think they deserve it. They've been smart. They got Jamar Chase early. Um, they built a good defense. Zach Taylor's a great head coach. Yeah, Bengals, absolutely. Yeah, and I think this is a team that went through it the hard way. Zach Taylor didn't walk into a winning situation, has been able to go out there, help them build a Super Bowl roster. Joe Burrow has been nothing but tremendous, putting his life and body on the line for his team. Then you go out there, get guys like Jamar Chase. You have an amazing coordinator like Luana Romo, who should be at the front of the playoff stage again this year, um, putting his talent on display. So, yeah, this is a team that's put in the work. Um, they just need that special trophy in the end to make it all worth it. So, yeah, I'll go with the Bengals as well. I think that's a great pick. And then um, Nick Shook goes out there and picks the Buffalo Bills. I agree with this one. You got your heart broken four straight times in the Super Bowl. Uh, they were actually playing one of the old Bills Super Bowls um, when I was at uh, – it was like a sports bar, and it was Sunday afternoon. They just had NFL Network on. So saw them lose one of their Super Bowls. Um, but, yeah. Team lost four times. Get your heart broken with Jim Kelly. Go out there, win it with Josh Allen. You've been consistently great the past few years, which not it's really hard to do in the NFL. So I think that's a good pick. Yeah, and plus, not only that, their fan base is one of the best fan bases in the NFL. They're super dedicated. They've gone through decades of poverty, or not not necessarily poverty, but decades of suffering for sure, and losing the four Super Bowls. One of them of which they lost to the Giants on a last second field goal. Ouch. Uh, so I think, uh, I think it's, I think it's, yeah, that, that was the team that I was going to shout out in the Dallas uh, part. So, okay. And then uh, last one, Maurice Jones, drew former Jaguar. So obviously he went out there and picked the Jaguars, but I agree with this one. Jaguars have been a team that kind of has showed flashes for like two or three years at a time. Like they're really good in Madden one year, right? Was it Madden 04? They were really good or Madden 05. Probably. Yeah. That's and the then, point. um, they had one of the best defenses, um, and but they still had Blake Bortles when they could have taken Derek Carr. So that's a team that maybe could have got to a Super Bowl. Um, and now they have Trevor Lawrence moved off Urban Meyer right away, hired one of the worst coaches, almost ruined Trevor Lawrence's career. Now he's someone walks into the NFL looking to take that next step and compete with Patrick Mahomes for the throne. Um, I like this pick. Um, I think the Jags definitely are one of the most deserving teams. Yeah, absolutely. And they're a relatively young team as well. And their history has been basically, I don't want to compare them to the Cardinals because Cardinals have been way worse historically, but having like two or three years of greatness followed by a decade of just misery and torture. Talk about how bad they were before Trevor Lawrence um, after the Saxonville era, which dissolved pretty quickly. And then they were terrible the first season, obviously, with Urban Meyer. They've suffered quite a lot, and now they have a really solid team. You got Trevor, tra uh, Travis Etienne, Kelvin Ridley. A lot of talent on that team, and uh, I think they would deserve a title. Yeah, and then that's the end of the list. So I'll go with one team not on this list that I think should deserve to win a Super Bowl this year. Went out there, took a huge swing for it, swung for the fences. And I think this is more for the fans than the front office, but the Cleveland Browns. Mm. If like the Lions were on that list, definitely agree there. But right, right under the Lions, right there is the Cleveland Browns because they've suffered from 28-year-old quarterbacks being drafted to Deshaun Kaiser to Johnny Manziel to all of Josh Gordon being suspended for a herb and mm. then the NFL basically taking any of their chances of hope for that season and Josh Gordon who's supposed to be 
a Randy Moss level talent. And then you go through that and then you go from Johnny Manziel and then your hero is Baker Mayfield. He wins you one game versus the Steelers in the playoffs and then forgets how to play football. Everyone said he did too many commercials. And then you go out there, swing for the fences with Deshaun Watson. I think for more than any fan base, I think Cleveland, I think they've stuck by this team. The stadium is still full to full every single week unlike the jacksonville jaguars by the way have you noticed the jaguars when they suck their stadium's pretty much empty cleveland's never empty no matter how bad they are detroit's never empty no matter how bad they are some of these other teams that are consistently bad it's like how much are the fans still going out there still paying to see their team still cheering on their team even if they suck i think the browns one of those fan bases Absolutely. I, I agree with the Browns. That's actually who I was going to pick initially. My bad. Um, no, you're good. No, it's just another team that did not win a game for one season, had a hor- literally like a decade long of just taking the worst player, the Corey Coleman's of the world, the Brandon Whedon's of the world, the Deshaun Kaiser's like it goes, the list goes on. It even started with Tim couch. And then it even goes further back when they were, you know, they relocated to Baltimore and then they were an expansion team. And ever since they've been terrible, and then obviously the Ravens went on and won a Super Bowl a couple of years later. Just like pain for Cleveland. Cleveland's gone through so much pain. I have two teams for my selection. And because they're the same team, basically, the Chargers Falcons. Because both of these teams <laughs> historically are cursed, right? The Falcons 28 to 3, the most infamous comeback in sports history, not even just NFL. And then the Chargers, who are by far like easily the most cursed team in the NFL. You're talking about 27 0 deficits you have no matter what can go wrong it will go wrong for them kind of similar to like the two the 20th the 20th century red Sox or the you know the curse of the uh, billy goat which was the chicago cubs they're cursed and there's not even a doubt about it i think that one of those teams deserves a ring because yeah. of their fans especially for the chargers it's more like their fan because there's not a lot of fans of the chargers but the, for the falcons you should have won that super bowl like that's imagine Imagine you like you're a fan of that team, the amount of pain and you're constantly reminded there's literally a day of the year that they celebrate it. 328. Yeah. Like you're never going to escape that no matter what the most painful experience in probably any sport you can ever experience. So I have to have both of those teams. Yeah, I would probably go with the Falcons um, because their medical staff isn't almost killing people. Um Shout out to Tyrod Taylor. But yeah, I think I agree with everything you say there. The fact that your team has a holiday with how bad you were. You were riding so hard with your team. And the Matt Ryan era was always like, we're almost there. And then he finally broke through, had an MVP season. It was right there for the taking. And then you could have also probably shoved Tom Brady out the door because that was still when there. I believe Jimmy Garoppolo was still on that team at the yep, point. He was. And that's what gave Jimmy Garoppolo his second ring. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, so you could have potentially ended Tom Brady's stint with the Patriots, and then Matt Ryan would have had one of the best seasons of all time, topped off with the MVP season. Julio Jones also would have got a ring that year, which would have been awesome to see. Uh, Dan Quinn would probably still be the coach as well. Oh, yeah, for sure. It would have been fantastic for them, but hopefully someday. The Falcons are really good. We're going to go over them probably next week or the week after, uh, talking about the NFC South, but... Those teams are cursed. They deserve a title.